Now, let's get to some really good news here. And there's plenty of it. If you look at the pandemic in retreat, look at this. Cases down 34 percent, deaths down 16 percent. This is a long running story here. Real improvement in the pandemic situation. David Barnson is with us this morning. All right, David. Now, you're on the financial side of things. You're on the market side of things. But you say this economy, this America, this economy is going to open up a lot sooner than we think. Make your case, David. Well, the data is demanding it. And, and you say 34% cases are down. That's from a couple weeks ago, down 70% from the high level. Hospitalizations are down well over 50%. Mortalities are collapsing. Then you look at studies in UK and Israel and see how far things are dropping there. The efficacy of the vaccine, not just in keeping people alive, which is what I thought the goal of all this was, but in actually stopping transmission. There's no negative news unless people dig for it, look for it, or go into this new tool, which is so bizarre to me, which is the theoretical of, okay, well, yeah, everything's a lot better, but you know, there could be some new thing that comes along and gets us. So let's just stay locked down anyways. I'm saying things are going to be coming back to normal because I know human beings. Humanity is demanding freedom. They're demanding activity. They're meant to be in community with one another. The kids are meant to be in school. And by the way, New Yorkers, you're meant to be in your office. <laughs> oh, yes. Well said. Thank you, David. Before you go, uh, I always like to get stocks from you which are paying strong and probably going higher dividends. You bought three today. Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Kimberly Clark. Make your case on all three, please. Yeah, you notice all three have one thing in common. They're consumer staples type companies. They make products that people basically have to buy all the time. They're not economically sensitive. People don't buy less diapers or, or less potato chips or, or less, you know, dishwashing detergent when the economy's bad. They have to buy these things all the time. It's why we call them staples. But they also have another thing in common, which is that they've been paying and growing their dividend for decades. Recessions, uh, economic recovery good times, bad times, inflation, deflation. These companies have been growing their dividends for a good long time. But then finally, Stuart, these companies, unlike my beloved energy and financials names, unlike everybody else's beloved FANG and technology names, these names have not been rallying huge the way so much of the rest of the market has. Everybody's looking to see where there might still be value out there. I think this is an underrated sector that offers great fundamentals and, and a pretty compelling entry point. So I might get a strong dividend and a capital gain to boot. Oh, that's my kind of stock, i got to say. Last word to you, David. You got uh, 10 seconds worth in you? <laughs> Yeah, just real anecdotally on Coca-Cola. It was at $1.68 in 1986, split adjusted. Today, the dividend is $1.68 every year. Think about that, 100% cash on cash over 35 years. And the stock's up 3,000%. Oh, yeah, OK, I think you made your point, David. Thank you very much indeed. But it's the long term deal you've got to look for. Mr. Barnson, thanks for joining us. See you again soon.